Thank you. A lot of turmoil in France this year. Massive protests, riots, lootings. And it all started a few months ago when the French got mad that their government raised the retirement age to 64 from 62. And as an American, I had no idea French people had jobs. <laughs> but people are weird sometimes, you know? Like, I have one of these moms who will give you a compliment, but it'll be an insult at the same time, you know? Like, you know the show Love is Blind? It's a reality show. People try to date without seeing what... Yeah, they try to date... All right. They try to date without seeing what anyone's faces or bodies look like, right? Yeah, my mom's told me way too many times I'd be great on that show. But it's better than, you know, I guess it would be weird if she was like, man, you got a rockin' body. You should go on Too Hot to Handle. You guys like that show? You like that show, sir? You like it? You don't, you like it? What's, what's your name? Austin. Austin, okay, so to explain to you and the rest of the audience, it's another reality show get all these crazy hot people all drunk, but if any of them hook up, you can lose money. So you're like rewarded for your sexual frustration. <laughs> it's an amazing show, but you know what would make it better? What if they also brought on a very average looking regular guy you could have sex with but not get kicked off the show? <laughs> like what if the host came out and was like, all right ladies, you can't touch any of these beautiful chiseled men, but you can fuck Austin. <laughs> All right. I'm kidding, man. I'm kidding. You'd be great on uh, Love is Blind. I... <laughs> I love movies. Y'all see that movie Bros that came out last year? Yeah? It's this romantic comedy about two men that fall in love. But it tanked at the box office. So Billy Eichner, who made it, he was pissed. And he was like, the reason this movie did so bad is because straight people, particularly straight men, wouldn't go see it. And I think he's right. And you want to know why straight guys wouldn't want to see a gay romantic comedy? Because it's a romantic comedy. <laughs> Brother, you make gay Rambo, we'll pull up. <laughs> oh gay Fight Club? Yes, sir. That's just UFC. We'll buy that shit pay-per-view. <laughs> gay Top Gun? Gay Top Gun? That's just Top Gun, that's... It's the same movie, no notes. Speaking of gay, gay dudes, we got this guy George Santos in office, we, uh, we know who this is. is this, uh, yeah, this congressman, right? He can't stop lying about stuff. Lied about being a descendant of Jews who fled the Holocaust. Lied about being a Goldman Sachs millionaire. Lied about being on the show, Hannah Montana. Yeah. He also lied about having a degree from Baruch College. And like, no disrespect to Baruch, but if you're going to lie about where you went to college, why would you choose Baruch? Yeah. I don't know what's a bigger red flag about this politician, his constant lying or that in his delusional fantasies, even NYU was out of reach. It's like cheating on an exam, but getting a couple questions wrong on purpose, you know, just to not be too suspicious. He's like, if I just say I went to Baruch, they'll all believe I was on the show, Hannah Montana. <laughs> Crazy, man. But I've been, uh, been going to a lot of weddings recently. Y'all ever watch the, these videos where the groom cries as the bride walks down the aisle? Yeah, I think those are so sweet. I really do. Oh. I love those. I, and it's got to make the bride feel so amazing, right, to see your future husband so emotional. It's got me thinking, like, if you're getting married and you're the groom, like, you got to cry at the wedding, dude. Like, just a little bit, you know? Just pretend. Watch. I'll show you. Pretend I'm a groom, and there's a beautiful, stunning bride coming down the aisle. It could happen. Oh my God. <laughs> Just do that. <laughs> Just 
Just fake it, you know? Your girl's probably faked it countless times since you've been together. 